Thanksgiving this year, of course, like everything else, is going to look a lot different, uh, whether it be because of the pandemic or the election. Those topics may end up at the dinner table, and there may be some differing opinions, we know. But there are ways to navigate those topics and keep the peace. Ashley Matthews has some ideas. And Ashley, because the table is going to be smaller, it's not going to be so easy. Now, if you have more people, you can kind of parse out the conversation. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Yes, good morning to you, Greg and Marianne. You are exactly right about that, Marianne, but now people are doing Zoom, you know, Thanksgiving dinner, so that, you know, you can add dozens of people to that one. So it's a whole different element this year, and we really wanted to get some advice from an etiquette coach. I had a lot of fun talking with her and giving her different scenarios on what to do in different situations. So the first one we're gonna discuss this morning is if you're worried controversial topics may come up at the Thanksgiving table, like COVID, how to handle it, politics, that sort of thing. How do you navigate that and make sure the conversation doesn't go there? Here's what she had to say. Are a host or a hostess, what I recommend you do is that you come prepared with some topics that you suggest to the table. Things like, what book have you read lately? What books are you reading in your virtual book club? And if you are reading some books, bring those as topics to throw out. The other thing I suggest you do is talk about movies, uh, suggest movies, maybe what are you binge watching on Netflix or Amazon Prime. Yeah, all good suggestions there and things people like to talk about. Definitely movies, Netflix, books right now. Uh, and she said, you know, a good idea is to have someone ahead of time that's going to be at the dinner table that knows the deal. So talk to them and say, hey, if it goes to politics, if it goes to COVID, if it's starting to get heated, help me change the direction of this conversation just to have someone in your corner heading into uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So 30 minutes. This one I love. Uh, how to navigate if you're the target of sensitive questions like, grandma asking you when you're going to get married or have babies. So we'll talk about that coming up in about 30 minutes. Greg, I'll send it back to you. That's why there are mute buttons on Zoom calls, right? That's it. How, what, a, what a useful tool this year, Ashley. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. All right, still ahead on NBC7 News today, how a store in